and Carlos, bless him, he, he was so eager he, and they wanted to win the goal. But it's, it's tough out there. Yeah. Everyone's playing well and um, we just hope that we see Rafa again and that he's, he's not quite done. Yeah, hopefully. Regardless, a final Olympics. So it is the end of an era all round in tennis, isn't it? It's, um, yeah, wonderful, wonderful to have been able to witness it, however, and yes. to be... Just uh, one left in the big four. Yeah. Novak Djokovic, he's still chugging along, although he potentially tore his meniscus again yeah. last night. He wasn't sure, uh, but he's up in the semi-finals today. So that's really one to watch. Yes, yeah, so you want to keep your eyes on uh, Roland Gavin offered also a pin from mm. Liechtenstein. Now, Wilson has also promised uh, Laura a Simone Biles pin and he already has one, so we're thinking by the end of the day it might be even Stevens. What do we make of Scarlett's selection here? If you could Thank joining you. us this morning. Thanks, Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Laura, she's got an athletics, USA athletics pin. That's quite good. Do you have one of those yet? Not yet. Okay, Not we'll yet, get there. But give me time. It's only day seven. <laughs> do you know what? We're using this as your platform to uh, shout out for further pin uh, yeah, suggestions. No. Well, the reason I'm going to get my Liechtenstein pin is because Romano, the mountain bike cyclist from Liechtenstein, saw it on Eurosport and uh, messaged me on Instagram. So thank you again uh, for delivering I love the goods. It. Thank you, Romano. Let's talk about Andy Murray, Laura. I can't believe that's it. I know. Can we believe it? I think the emotion that we saw on the court, and it seemed like by the time he got to us, he hadn't processed it, mm. and he was cracking me up because he was talking about the tactics <laughs> and what he could have done better in the match. And, True pro. Yeah, saying, oh, I should have served here, and I could have done this more. And it was like... Don't worry about that. You're, you're done. You know that's that's a lot to process in in the space of ten minutes by the by the time they get to the media to, uh, zone. But what a career he's had. What an inspiration yeah. to so many athletes. And in my mind, certainly, I'm I'm biased because I'm tennis background as well. I think he's the greatest British sportsman ever. And I think as well what he's come to represent and the fact that we've been exposed to so much of his difficulty as well. You need a torrid time with the media to begin with when they thought he was grumpy and angry and labelled the, you know, the doer Scott. And then he won them over, of course, because you win Wimbledon and everything turns around. But press about, you know, wanting that crowd support, wanting it mm. so badly for the public to win Wimbledon. And then the two golds, um, that was so inspiring mm. for me to be part of it with him in, in 2012. And one of the best things about him is that he's always helped the younger players. Mm. He's gone out of his way to invite them to practice weeks, to give them advice, to help them in any way he can. Um, and so... Yeah, to see him kind of end at a team event, uh, probably the way, not the way that he wanted to yeah. in, in the quarters, but in many ways, it was the best possible send off. At the tennis as well, haven't we? Nadal. That, well, is it goodbye though? I don't <laughs> yeah, know. Okay, I don't yeah. think anyone knows. An Olympic goodbye. It, yeah, 